Hey there guys, Justin Brock here, my brother Johnny Brock, and we are the Medicare Brothers. And today we're going down our list of the most Googled Medicare questions so that we can help you answer them. So one of the ones that's on here is probably also asked by people who are looking to get into the Medicare sales side of things, but we want to answer it in a way that's transparent for anyone. This question is, can you make money selling Medicare? So first of all, I want to differentiate Medicare from private Medicare plans like Medicare Advantage, Medicare Supplements, and Part D prescription drug plans. Those plans are commissionable. Uh, Medicare itself is not commissionable. So you'd be selling the Medicare supplement. And the way that those commissions work is you get a CMS. So with Medicare Advantage and Medicare prescription Part D plans or prescription plans, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services have set out what is an allowable level of compensation and it's a, an annual amount. So you get a, an amount each year as long as you can keep somebody on a certain plan. So it's actually set up that way so that you can have a standardized commission amount for each plan, regardless of the carrier. And you can also uh, make sure that you know your intention is to keep someone on the best plan for them because that's how you get paid you don't make a ton of money just you sign them up one time and then you get a bunch of money the carrier that has that plan gets paid a certain amount by having you on that plan from medicare and so medicare then turns around and or i'm sorry the plan turns around and pays you that set cms amount of commission now there is obviously a tremendous amount of income producing opportunity in that because you can stack a whole lot of clients together and now you have a large residual commission coming in. So that's why a lot of these call centers exist with these commercials where they're trying to write hundreds of thousands of people to grab this large renewal stream of income coming in. But there are also agencies operating in a smaller capacity trying to keep more of them happy longer with higher retention so that they can uh, make you know, good money, but also by keeping people high, uh, highly happy, highly, highly happy, uh, at a, you know, a higher retention rate, retention, meaning how long do I keep my clients? Our goal is to keep 99% of our clients for the rest of their life. I always say 99% because 1%, maybe I, maybe I don't want 1% of them, but 99% of them I want to keep forever. And, um, another important, um, Part of that is the Medicare supplements or Medigap plans. Those are paid on a percentage of premium. So if, and this can depend on the state, there are some certain specific state rules, but normally you're getting a percentage somewhere between 20 and 25% of a Medicare supplement premium for up to around six years, and then it kind of falls off. So you're, you, you know, it is in your best interest to keep them happy you also most of these companies do not pay you on the increased premium so an agent doesn't make more money when the premium goes up right so it's in our best interest to keep you on a premium that is good for you so if you're an agent watching this and learning about the insurance um, opportunity you could check us out at justinbrock.com where we could help you uh, look into that side of it because Unfortunately, this is an underserved market and we do need more quality agents and less call centers with Joe Namath on TV. Um, but on the uh, Medicare beneficiary side, if you're looking at how does an agent make money off of this, that's really it. You know, it's actually made to where the compensation is tied to long-term happiness of the client. Uh, so it's, it's made to do the best thing. There are some people that are, of course, trying methods that are not good for the industry that we're actively um, advocating against so absolutely so the main thing is you want to um, build a long-term relationship with your client so when I you know the the, the, the four or five hundred personal clients that I have right my goal is to um, on a consistent basis reach out to them and make sure that they're doing okay and um, it's it's very very important to make sure that you're educated properly when you know you're you know you're choosing to do business with a certain agent or, or whoever you're going to do business with. So um, just make sure that you're, you know, taking the right steps there. And as far as commissions concerned, yes, we get paid. And that's a, a very, very common question that I get asked, um, you know, talking to a lot of beneficiaries is how, how is this benefiting you? Well, it benefits me to keep you happy and educate you properly and make sure that you're satisfied with the coverage that you choose for yourself, because my goal is to educate you so that you can choose which which is best for you. Yeah. Just to give you an idea, the CM, the current uh, Center for Medicare Services 
Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services cap on a Medicare Advantage renewal is $270 a year. So if you think about that, if you had a client that wasn't happy, that was calling you all the time, that was taking a ton of time because you didn't have them in a plan that was really best for them, then that $270 a year is probably not worth that. So it actually is in our best interest to get you in a plan that you like because we want to keep you happy. Now, some of those other groups out there just never answer your phone calls. So they're just looking for the 60% of people that never call them. We're looking to keep 99% of our people happy. So yeah, give us a call. We're at 662-844-3300, or you can give us a call or, or sorry, check us out on bobbybrockinsurance.com. That's bobbybrockinsurance.com, where we treat all of our clients, no matter where they are, like they're in our backyard.